What's up guys and welcome back. It is now 2018 so a happy new year to each and every one of you. So this year obviously like every other YouTube channel has been uploading videos of all their special goals etc. I basically have one goal for this year and that is to upload more frequently. Last year was pretty poor, um, I definitely admit that but Streaming on Twitch etc has definitely taken up a lot of my time. If you don't follow me on Twitch, I will leave a link down below. We play loads of games and basically just have a good time. And also, if you're not a member of Discord, definitely join down below. We definitely have a load of great conversations in there. Some of them are a bit wacky, but it's definitely fun. So what better way to start off the year than with a brand new series on the channel? and this one is called Gaming on a Budget. So basically what's going to happen is I am going to try and buy loads of different gaming accessories whether it be mice, keyboards, anything you can put your mind to we are going to try and do it on a serious budget. I'm talking maybe $20 at the very very most and I'm going to try and game with it just like I would normally do and let you guys know if it's worth the pickup or not as a load of you want to see more budget accessories on the channel. So with that said, the first item that I have chosen for the series is the Technet Raptor Pro Gaming Mouse. This retails for £11 on Amazon here in the UK and around $14 in the US, so it definitely won't break the bank. But is it worth it? Let's find out. So let's start with the unboxing. As seen, the packaging is definitely where some money has been saved, but that doesn't really bother me much at this price. Inside the box you are going to find two driver's discs. I don't know why they gave me two. They could have saved a little bit more money if they only gave me one because they're both exactly identical but I digress. Other stuff included is a welcome guide and of course the mouse itself. So let's take a quick tour of the Raptor Pro. It's constructed from a cheapish feeling plastic with some nice design cues etched around it. On the left hand side you will find the forward and back buttons as well as a sniper button. Up top we have a scroll wheel that doubles as a middle click. Below that you will find the DPI toggles for raising and lowering it. And flanking each side of course is a left and right click. Having a quick play with the buttons I will say I am pretty impressed. They're not as mushy as I assumed they would be and they do in fact have a nice click to them. The scroll wheel however isn't my favourite. The steps aren't very well defined at all. And honestly, this is something I utilise very frequently while in game, especially when I'm trying to change weapons, etc. when playing games like CSGO. Moving on to another positive though, Technet have included a braided cable here, which is really nice to see, especially with a product this cheap, as some more expensive mice on the market don't even come with braided cables, so I definitely get a massive thumbs up from me. One thing that I didn't notice at first, and did stumble across this when I was rechecking the prices, is the fact that you can go ahead and customise the weight of the mouse itself. On the underside there is a little compartment that has 6 5 gram weights that can be easily taken in and out so that you can go ahead and customise the mouse to your weight preference which I think at this price is pretty crazy so another massive thumbs up from me. So before we go ahead and test this in game, let's take a quick look at the software included. In all honesty, it is super well laid out. We can set up different profiles which is nice, you can remap every button to your preference from the drop down menus and you have three different modes that you can toggle and you can also adjust your parameters from sensitivity to scrolling speeds etc. So hopping into the advanced tab you can go ahead and set up your DPI to whatever you wish and give it a custom colour that you like that is easily identifiable on the mouse itself. And LEDs are also customisable. You can have them always on, breathing, blinking, set up different intervals, choose some effects. There is loads of customization on offer here and it is definitely pretty good. You can also hop in and set up some custom macros if you wish. Overall, this is actually a pretty great piece of software for something so cheap. I was definitely impressed. Usually when you buy a product at this price, the software is very frustrating, but I definitely have to give it to Technet. They've went all out here. So another thing that I would like to show you just before we jump in in game is the fact that you can go ahead and change the colour on the mouse like I've already said. Every time you switch DPI, the colour will change. And as I mentioned, you can go ahead and customise the colours to your liking in the software. Okay, so most importantly, how does it game? 
Well, I jumped into a few rounds of Call of Duty as I feel that this is a great game to test the product out as you need to have good reactions and it is really fast paced. After a few minutes in game I was definitely getting used to the Raptor Pro and coming from the M65 Pro from Corsair I was definitely surprised that I adapted to it so fast. Usually when I play free for all I finish anywhere from first to third and using this mouse didn't hold me back at all. It was super responsive and I was able to turn on enemies when needed without any problems. I even switched out my SMG to a semi-automatic rifle that obviously requires more precision and again I had no issues and I could lock onto my targets with ease even if they were camping their butts off and in most of the games I play on PC, free for all, especially everyone is camping so if you're one of those campers please just stop, it's embarrassing. So let's round this up, the Raptor Pro, is it worth £11 here in the UK? I would say yes, if you are on a super tight budget, even if you're not on a budget and don't want to spend a load of money on a gaming mouse, I would say definitely check this out. I don't think you'll be disappointed, it doesn't feel as premium as other mice that I have tested on the channel of course, but at this price you can't complain. The software definitely gets an A+, the mouse itself works, I mean it didn't affect my gaming at all so I can hardly complain, my only complaint that I could probably take away from this is the scroll wheel, if the steps were a little more defined this would probably be a great budget mouse so I definitely recommend it and I will leave it linked down below. So just before I go, if you have any products that meet the criteria for this series definitely let me know down below as I would love to check them out and maybe do a video on them. So as always guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe, be kind to each other, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.